Hello viewers, welcome back to another section of my YouTube tutorial. In this video, we're going to go through differential equation, some examples, order as using differential equation, linearity, solution which we have implicit and explicit. Kindly watch this video to the end so that you understand the core of what you are going to do. If this is the first time you are visiting this channel, don't forget to like, you subscribe and also you share the video. Now when you say differential equation, what is differential equation? So we've done so many equations and we know linear equations, we know algebraic and quadratic equations. So now in calculus we have what you call the differential equation. So now whenever you say differential equation, it's just an equation which contains derivatives derivatives so if you have equation which contains derivatives then you say that you are dealing with differential equations and when i say derivatives i mean the dy dx so if you have an equation you have maybe dy dx or you can have it as y prime or whenever you have an equation where there is a function changing with respect to the other so if you find this derivative symbol in an equation we call that equation a differential equation and the equation can contain an ordinary derivative or a partial derivative and that gives us the ordinary differential equation and also the partial differential equation so you realize that so let me take you through the types as we have the ordinary so differential equation we have two main types you have the ordinary then we have the partial differential equation so ordinary then we have the partial so when we say the ordinary differential equation we mean that we have the ordinary derivatives as you know so now when you have an ordinary differential equation you are going to have one you are going to have one independent variable so if you have an equation y is equal to something maybe y equals x you realize that this x is an independent variable then this y is a dependent variable so in any ordinary differential equation you're going to have only one independent variable so it will be dy with respect to the dx and any other variable be, is treated as a constant or is treated not part of the derivative so in ordinary differential equation we deal with a single independent variable so let's go to the partial derivative so partial derivatives that is where you can have one or two or three independent variables so in a partial derivative you can have an equation which contains maybe the y over the x also having the y over the p and that same equation can also have the y over maybe the q so you realize that the number of independent variable in your equation is more than one here we had x that is in the ordinary we had x then for the partial you're going to have more than one independent variable now let's see on our list we talk about differential equations so now let's see examples of differential equation so you can have the y so now let's first check the ordinary 
So the y over the x all over the y on the x is maybe is equal to 2x plus 4. So this equation here becomes a differential equation because we have a derivative here which is equal to 2x plus 4. The presence of this derivative makes our equation to be differential equation. Now the goal of differential equation is to find this back. You can see that there was a function and that function was differentiated to give us this. So the goal of differential equation is to find that function back and it corresponds to our dependent variable here. So our solution should be y is equal to the original function f of maybe x. So that is the goal of differential equation. Now, this is an example of the partial, sorry, of the ordinary differential equation, the dy over the x equals 2x plus 4. But for the partial, you can have maybe dy on the x plus the y on the p and this is going to be equal to maybe two x plus five p So such an equation, we are having more than one independent variable. Hence, it is partial derivative. So these are some of the examples of differential equation you'll be encountering. Then, let's see the next thing on our list. That is, we have to find, so we've done the examples, and now we are going to do the order. When we say order in differential equation, what is order? Order in differential equation. So order in differential equation simply means the highest derivative in your equation. So if you have the y, so let's use the y prime. You know y prime is also the same as the y on the x. So y prime is first order, y prime prime, that is the second derivative, is second order. We have y prime 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 and that is third order so in that manner we are going to have the order of differential equation so if you have any differential equation the highest order of our derivative is what we call the order of the entire differential equation so you can have y prime being parts plus two y prime prime is equal to x. If you have been asked to find the order of this differential equation, since the highest order here is 2, this differential equation is termed as a second order. A second order. So we have first order differential equation, we have second order, third order in that manner. That is higher orders. So this order is equivalent to the quadratic as we have cubic, we have linear. So the first one, if you have any equation in which the highest order is 1, we call it first order linear differential equation. That one, we have a way of tackling that. And when the highest order is 2, that is second order differential equation. So that is how the order also works for differential equation. Just create an analogy to quadratic equations. As we have linear, we have quadratic, we have the trinomials, where you have the cubic and the others. The same thing for differential equation. So for differential equation, we use the derivative. It's first derivative, then it's first order. If it's second derivative, then it's second order. If it's third derivative, then it's third order. Now let's see linearity. 
when you talk about linearity i've just mentioned some things about it an equation is linear so let's see some terms or some conditions that will satisfy for a differential equation to be a linear differential equation so some of the conditions is let's say one the highest order is one every linear sorry not the highest order so when you are tackling linear differential equations there shouldn't be any products of the function y of t with any of the derivatives so let's say you have um so no products there shouldn't be any products it should be linear any products between the so no products so if you have the derivative to be y prime in your equation you shouldn't have y prime times any of its derivatives whether in its raw form so you shouldn't have any term like this y y or you shouldn't even have y prime prime times y prime no a linear differential equation always has its derivative standing there alone and if there will be a product the product will be an independent variable or constant it wouldn't be the variable we are using as our derivative itself okay when you are talking about linearity the second thing we should consider is the highest power of the highest power of our derivative we have power and you have order the highest power of the derivative should be one you shouldn't have the y over the x squared so the highest order should be one so you shouldn't have anything like y prime squared or y prime prime squared it's not allowed or it disqualifies it to be called linear so something like this wouldn't make your equation a linear equation so take note that is about the linear then the coefficients in linear equations can also be a constant a non-zero constant or can even be a zero so let's see the main condition used for determining whether an equation is linear or not is basically this condition you check the derivative in your equation and you make sure that derivative as well as its other variables or its corresponding variables are not in the product so the function that is y which is the derivative should not multiply its corresponding function y or y prime prime anywhere take note then finally we have solution of differential equation and the solution we have the implicit then we have the explicit now what equation or what solution is the implicit and what is the explicit so now you know of implicit function when you are dealing with calculus so implicit in this situation here is when your equation is not in the form y is equal to the function back again so sometimes you can solve a problem and you can't leave your answer as y is equal to so assuming you have y sine x plus let's say 2x squared is equal to let's say s cubed if this happens to be your solution you realize that 
this equation of written here doesn't have a derivative meaning it's not a differential equation or it's a solved differential equation once you solve a differential equation you erase all the derivatives but this equation is not in the standard form y is equal to the function f of x so this standard form type is what we call the explicit and this form is the implicit so you can solve the implicit to get the explicit equation but not all implicit can be solved to get the explicit equation so this is just an overview of differential equation that i've taken you through thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe i'll be posting first other differential equation the separable and the different types on how you can solve differential equations